Download and install the latest version of Node.js. Then, download and install Android Studio. Once it's installed, you can run the project using the Android emulator. Alternatively, you can run it on a physical device. If you prefer to do so, you can skip this step. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Android emulator. Next, download and install Visual Studio Code. We'll be using Visual Studio Code as our development editor. Now, let's create the project. To do that, open the command prompt and navigate to the directory where you want to create the project. Since I'm using the D drive, I'll use the command D to switch to the D drive. Then, navigate to the projects folder using the command CD projects. Inside the projects folder, navigate to the React folder using the command CD React. This is where we'll create the project. Now, enter the command npx create expo app. Project name. For example, if my project name is my first project, I'll enter npx create expo app. My first project. Press enter and the project will be ready. You will see the newly created project folder. Now, open Android Studio to run the emulator. Select More Options and choose Virtual Device Manager. Create a virtual device and select a device with the Play Store button. Create the device and run it.
Then, open Visual Studio Code and open our project folder, which is named My First Proj. You will see the folders and files that have been created. We'll explain them in upcoming videos. The file we're currently editing is app.js. To run the project, open the terminal and select View Terminal. Enter the command npm start. The project will start running. If you want to run the project on a physical device, download the Expo Go app on your mobile and scan the barcode you see. The project will open on your device. Since we're using the Android emulator to run the project, press the letter F on the keyboard. Press Ctrl plus C to close the project. We've already run the Android emulator, so we can press to open the project again. The visible text on the screen says, change it to hello world. As soon as I save the file, it will change to hello world. Press Ctrl plus C to close the project. We'll learn how to develop React Native apps in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.